All right. Now JJ, yeah. it's already streaming, so now we have to like uh, set up all the other stuff. If you've already tuned in, you're gonna have to give me a hot second because I'm uh, setting stuff up. Yeah, it says that we are live. Are we live? Oh, I never turned my sound off. There we go. Are we live? We're live. What's up, Fabs and Besties? You are watching YouTube Live with Toya and Bella. Bella, that's right. Are you are you on board now? What? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So we're trying out some new lighting. We're playing with different ideas here. Tell me how you all like it. It's kind of like darker, more chill. I don't know. Let us know in the comments. Can't fix it right now, but we can probably fix it next week if you don't like it. Yeah. So what's up, y'all? Today we are making miniature cereal boxes inspired by Bella's frog food art. I had so much fun with this. I didn't know that I was going to make a cereal box when she was designing it. But once she designed it and decided, says, hey, this is like a movie, you know? Would y'all watch this movie? Here's, here's the picture right here. And then y'all were like, yeah, that'd be a great movie. And then I was at Target and I saw cereal boxes for that new movie, um, Adam's Family, right? Right? The Adam's Family cereal boxes. And I was like, oh my goodness, we can do that based off of Bella's art. So that's our craft today. The original craft was a miniature dollhouse, but that's a little ambitious and I haven't finished it. And then I was like, I can't do this in an hour. So that's probably going to get pushed to a video. Anyway, today's video is the DIY cereal box. All you have to do is go to our, our blog, myfroggyestuff.blogspot.com. Click on how to print printables where it says choose this one. Then you're going to scroll down to where it says doll food, I want to say. Uh, click on that link. It'll open in a new window. And then you can click on the cereal boxes, download, and print according to your printer settings. Yeah. Okay. So this is what you'll get. You'll get two cereal boxes and a poster for your dollhouse. I printed all of my stuff on cardstock to make it a little easier, you know, to skip a step. However, if you don't have cardstock, you can print it on regular paper. You can print it on regular paper and then glue it onto like paperboard or something like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. You love the scenes in the back. Oh yeah. That's our video for tomorrow. I haven't cleared my table yet. So that's Saturday's video on the table. What's up, Polly? How you doing? What's up, Cookie Swirl C Fan 199? How you doing? Uh, have you ever read the Monster High Ever After High crossover book? I have not. I have not. I think I have it though. I think I bought it. I'm sure you bought it. But I don't think I ever read it. So, uh, how are you doing? Victoria, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. It's a great day. I'm so tired. I honestly thought my video for tomorrow was going to be take me three days. I thought it was going to get done in three days. It took me five days. So now your girl's behind schedule. But what else is new? Okay, so when you print the printable, it comes out like this size, which makes a cereal box this size, which I think is the equivalent to like an economy size cereal box. The reason my box is so large is because I do make everything on the box legible and I'm designing this little tiny stuff and so sometimes it's just difficult to make it any smaller than this. However, if you want to make it smaller because this is just a gigantic zero box, you can go into your printer settings and reduce the size. So for this one, I printed it at 80% and at 80% we get a much smaller box which I think works perfectly. However, if you want it bigger, go 90, 95, it's totally up to you. Um, it's difficult to enlarge the picture though, because then it starts getting digitized and what's and stuff like that, but you can always go smaller. Might not be able to read it if you go too small, but there's that. Okay. Uh, what have I done? There we go. All right. So what we're going to do first after you download and print the, uh, the printable is we're going to cut it out. And optional supplies is black, I'm sorry, this is brown, brown cardstock. And you need scissors, this is not scissors. You need scissors and you need a glue stick. And I like to have a scratch piece of paper on the side to help keep my table a little cleaner. Oh, and we do have a new book for fake book, mini fake book Friday. So yes, our mini fake book Friday this week is off with their heads. 
So that book is available in the Books and Stuff album. It is a fictitious book. And I thought that the whole process of actually customizing a doll or rebodying a doll sounds kind of gruesome. Gruesome. Sounds kind of gruesome. So I wrote out the, uh, how we like pull off doll heads and it actually sounds kind of like a horror story. So I wrote that in the book. There's only like two pages that are actually written. The rest of the book is blank so you can write what you like. But I thought that was kind of cool. So that's our book this week for our mini fake book Friday. And if you've been making our books, we do have a craft coming up real soon that will tie all the books together. I was supposed to have already made this video, but this one back here kind of threw me off schedule. Okay, what's up Josh? How you doing? What's up Polly's Craft World? How you doing? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my cereal box. I've already made the 100% size one, so I'm gonna do the 80% size so we can see a difference in sizes. Yeah, and while I do this, Bella is going to start... Question. Yes. Yeah. My brain is not working today. <laughs> Someone said to it, I made the star frogs. Oh my goodness! Congratulations! Can you come make me one? Because I can't carry my star frogs upstairs to my new studio. So as of right now, we don't have a star frogs. Ugh. Didn't think that through. Yeah. Are you gonna answer questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean uh... <laughs> Someone said, when is the next Summer in Cali coming out? So uh, right now it is scheduled for October 30th because I told you all that I missed September. So that's why we put one out at the beginning of October. And if I want to get back on schedule, I have to do another one this month. So possibly have two this month. Okay. I've already started it, believe it or not. I've already shot the first four pages. And uh, I've already, you know, so I just haven't, I just have to finish it. I know where it's supposed to go. I just don't know how to get there yet. That's where we're at. Someone said, what is y'all's favorite movie? The Labyrinth. Come on, y'all. Same answer every time. Because it doesn't change. My favorite movie? Uh, I don't watch a lot of movies, but I do watch a lot of TV shows. At the moment. So the mic's way over there. Oh, at the moment, my favorite TV show is... Uh, you season three came out and it's nuts every season is like kind of the same but not the same so we do not endorse this movie i mean TV no show we don't condone any, any the actions yeah but it's very well done <laughs> you always pick things that can get me in so much trouble yeah but yeah let's just keep going <laughs> so i said guys wish me luck about my i'm about to hear my grades I hope you do well. You should not be worried because you should be confident that you did everything you're supposed to do unless and you've you got a great score. Unless you didn't, then you should be worried. <laughs> Stop you. Uh... What grade are you in, Bella? I'm in a junior in high school. I'm almost done. I'm almost out of, of this prison. High school? But then yeah. college starts, so you're not like oh home gosh. free, man. So we were looking at the hours for the majors that we want, right? Yeah. And CM yeah. is 122. Okay, so what is CM? computational media basically computer science with a lot of liberal arts classes is like if you want to be a ux designer if you want to do like i guess film uh i guess they teach you like maya and they teach you like game development and like all that sort of stuff so you're gonna design me my own game no i'm not doing that i'm doing interaction design <laughs> which is ux design which is like designing applications designing interfaces that sort of thing Catch me out. What's the point if I don't benefit from this? Because I <laughs> will joking. get paid a ton of money to do this, okay? Oh, uh, you a have kids money. to make your vision no, happen. No, no, no. I'm just joking. No, you don't. You don't. You gotta support Plus, them. Plus, I'm gonna try to be in the game industry. But if you control the game, no. it's a little different. No, bro. Do you know about the, the gaming industry? is terrible. Okay, like, well, let's keep going before yeah, we yeah. start. <laughs> What's it's wrong really with you? Okay, but uh, yeah, so but CM basically like has 122 hours, which is a lot, which is a lot, a lot. And uh, 100 what? 122 hours. Uh, my degree was 127. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, because so computer science at, at there is 126. And at, at Georgia Tech or, or UGA though, it's 120. 
Yeah, so that's just like... They gave you way more hours, just way more hours. And you don't... I think and my missed, other friends... Okay, hold on, hold on. Co computer engineering is 129. So, so all that means is that, like, classes tend to be about three hours yeah, yeah, per yeah. class. Well, I'm saying, so. like, aren't I gonna... But we did the math, and, like, we're gonna have to be taking, like... Summer or, classes. They're gonna yeah. be have to be taking, like, 18 hours a semester. No, you just go to summer school. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that more money? Or we can graduate, like, on... We, can just, we just don't take it off. Don't take it off. Yeah, it's just because you're... Ugh, I guess it's such like, a technical conversation. But taking... I... Especially freshman year, taking is a it covered, humongous is it, load is of it, classes is it, is might it be detrimental. Your, is it covered by your scholarship? So your scholarship, or the HOPE scholarship, covers 15 hours a semester. Anything beyond that, you have to pay. So I have to pay for classes in the summer. 15 hours a semester up to like a hundred and something hours total so you yeah. have to figure all that out but that's not a discussion for right now yeah, that's yeah. like a college thing yeah. so anyway after you cut it out you have to cut between all of the little tabs once you cut between the tabs you're gonna fold on the lines now I like to use a ruler to fold on my lines that's how I always do it to make sure I get nice clean edges but I did not bring my ruler Someone said it's interesting for international viewers. I'm glad you find it interesting because oh. I also find it interesting. <laughs> all this college stuff. I'm very excited. I don't to have a rot ruler. My brain away for money. But yeah. You're great. not gonna rot your brain. It's all like, oh my god. Or go through intense stress. You know what? I'm gonna go grab a ruler. So yeah. luckily, you know, my only like the only thing that I'm like one thing I think, but like I am confident that when I go to college and I come out of college, I am very confident that I'll have a job. I'm very confident. Like, I don't see how I could not have one. You know? Tech. Keep talking. Teching. Anyways, uh, someone said, Bella, how was school? Any test, drama, etc.? I'm not in any drama. Um, I don't hang out with sort of people. But tests, I had a math midterm today. But it wasn't, like, a big deal because, um, because, like, it was a replacement, replacement grade, so she would replace your lowest test score with the midterm if it was higher. And if it wasn't higher, then, like, she didn't care. So I didn't even really study for it. Even though, though, when I was doing it, I was, like, going really fast, and I was like, oh, this is easy. I might have gotten, like, an 87, I think. Like, I calculated, if I got, like, five wrong, it's 87, which doesn't even matter. Because my, my lowest, well, actually, yeah, that does matter. My lowest test grade is 80. So, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so back to the craft real fast. If you've got a thin plastic ruler, comes in handy. If you don't, I would always I can also use clear plastic from packaging. But when you're folding paper, I'm sorry, cardstock, the clear plastic might not be sturdy enough, so I would go with the ruler. What I like to do is I like to fold in on the lines that I can see first. Once you make that crease, it'll be easier to turn it the other way. If that makes sense. L R animals said their birthday is in four days. Happy early Happy birthday. Happy early birthday. Someone said, how old are you guys now? I've been watching for seven years. I'm 16. And you could just say it. Man. I am. I'm 40. And I'm yeah. proud of it, man. I'm still not used to actually telling my age. <laughs> it's, I don't even feel 16. I was just, I was just 15. Like, it doesn't make sense. Um, I'm 40 and I stopped dyeing my hair and I stopped doing all of those things because you know what it's just too much work and to be honest I don't care that much so I'm cool with it I'm cool with the aging because it means that I'm still alive and that's a plus yeah all right folding my lines you made a Barbie school with printables awesome we did do a lot of school printables back in the day. We actually did a school printables this year with the little blue lockers that was themed after your frog food. Yeah. I've been taking full advantages of those frog Someone foods. said they like the calm lighting. Thank you. Someone said you don't look 40. Yeah. You don't look 40. Well, the gray hair. Yeah. But. I mean, like, 20-year-olds have gray hair. So. You know what? I'm okay with it. That's not really an indication of being old. It is it's not. It's not. Stressed. And you'd be surprised. <laughs> I'm not stressed. Are you not stressed? But you'd be surprised how people have gray hair and a lot of people diet. You know, and that's cool. If you want to do that, do that. But for me, it's just way too much work to keep up with. And there's other things I could do with my time. Like mini like make miniature cereal boxes. So that's what I'm doing. So Isabella, are you going to go to prom? I have been debating it. Uh, most of me doesn't want to. But the little part of me is like, you should do it once. I didn't go to homecoming. I'm never going to homecoming. 
I'm not gonna go to an extra either because it's so quick like it comes up really fast on you it's in like it's in October and it's like you know honestly the day of homecoming I went to horses and then the day like that same day I was studying all day so like I'm not gonna be going homecoming ever but I will go to prom Noah went to his first school yeah, dance Noah went to this school week. dance he did my baby went to a dance and I didn't know how to react I didn't I don't think I acted well. You were like, that's so lame. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were better than this. But I was joking. So Noah and I have a humongous, like, our, oh, yeah. very sarcastic. Like, our relationship. That kid is a literal, like, a devil incarnate. No, he's not. He's, he's awful. He's, he's amazing. Really, he's, so, he's so quick and brutal and sometimes terrifying no he's very quick-witted i will yeah, say he's that really quick. and which makes it a lot of fun to talk to him because he comes back with the with the with the quick with the quick yeah you know he i'm super sarcastic he doesn't hold back either and he is too but he does and he always great. takes things too far <laughs> always takes things well too you far. know he's a he's a young young one um yeah What's up? It says, someone says my positive energy is nourishing for viewers. See, that's because that's the side of me that you all get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I someone said, does Bella enjoy crafting? No. Um, you know what? I would, def I would be good at it if I, like, tried. I just don't like all of this stuff. Like, I don't like the hot, like, glue. I don't like needles. That is I don't like literally a line from Emma. What? It's so funny that you said that. So in the movie, Emma, well, movie, it's a book, but I watched mainly the movie. So Emma was talking to Mr. Elton's wife, and she was talking about how she would be true proficient if she did other things. You know? And it's just funny to me because what? nobody actually likes Mr. Elton's wife. And she's always like, oh, yes, if I did that, I would be a true proficient. Oh, yeah. And I, that's feel about, I feel like that about everything. <laughs> 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 I mean, like, yeah, I'd probably be good at basketball if I cared, but I don't, so. Well, confidence is good. I mean, that's a fact. <laughs> you can be good. I mean, honestly, though, I'm pretty trash at hand-eye coordination. I have to work really, really hard. But if I did work really, really hard, I'd be good at it. Okay. But I just don't feel like working that hard. So I've made all my creases, and now that I've made my creases, there is a side tab right here. I don't my nails look absolutely hor horrible, so I'm not really in a rush to get them close to the camera. But there's a side tab here. You're gonna take this side tab and you're gonna glue it to the back of this over here. So we're gonna go like this and then just glue that in and it's gonna make, you know, the little box. So Isabella, your art, art, art tutorials have helped me so much. Thank you. And you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I had this, this, so this is like dude, which like I talked to him before, but like I'm kind of like ghosting him a little bit. Nobody but, um, can hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, <laughs> like so one of my friend's friends um, was like, hey, like your art is so cool, like, you know, Earth or whatever. And it was like, like, thanks. <laughs> so it was like, like, yeah, thanks. well, no, it's just like, I don't know, weird vibes. So I got like this story. Weird like, vibes from like, male counterparts. And like, and there was, yeah, it was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? Read between the lines. <laughs> there are no lines. What's your favorite anime? My favorite anime is Death Note first. Then Attack on Titan, right next to it, and then My Hero Academia. I love My Hero Academia, and um, I'm a moron for saying it was bad. It's amazing. And I am a moron for listening to her, so. Yeah. Well. <laughs> my Hero Academia is amazing. I think it's literally, like I've always said, Attack on Titan was my favorite. No, first it was Hayaku. And yeah, then it was like, like it was Attack was Hayaku on Titan. the only one you had watched. No, I have watched others. I watched Sailor Moon. You I've seen watched it when I said you saw like two episodes of Sailor Moon. I've seen like the first three seasons of Sailor oh, Moon okay. plus several of the movies. I have not watched the newer stuff, but there's that. There's so. new stuff. Oh yeah, there's a new like Netflix thing that came out. Yeah. Uh, where did I get my pinky shirt? So I got my pinky and the brain shirt at Target. It was in the men's section. For some reason, the men's section has better graphic tees, or at least it did when I was searching for graphic tees. Someone said Demon Slayer is my fave. I watched Demon Slayer. I, I think I like, it's not my top. One. It's cool, you it's know? It's good though. It's definitely good. Like, you know, it lives up to the hype. 
How old is a lot of hype. How old is Noah? Noah is uh Noah's 13. Yes, he's 13. Noah's a young buck. Okay. Yeah. So once you get the, the side worst age on the planet. So once you get the side glued down, and if you had noticed, I was using my scissors because the box is smaller than, you know, me. So I have to use a tool in order to get that to lay flat. So I just use the edge of my scissors. I also use glue sticks. I mean, whatever you can get to fit inside the box will work. Uh, if your ruler's thin enough, I would just use my ruler. But my scissors work pretty good to help get that side down. Now we're gonna go to the bottom of the box and you're just gonna fold in the bottom two tabs. Then the other two side tabs, you're gonna glue them all down. It's pretty easy. You know what a cereal box looks like. So yeah, do that. Okay. Quiet space. Yeah, I'm trying to find like, like, questions but uh can you make narnia stuff that narnia? seems like a good thing I for winter watching that. um like the wardrobe sounds like a, a cool project for the winter time yeah that sounds cool we can definitely i've been saying i'm gonna do this for like i don't know like four years now mm -hmm. and i haven't got to it so maybe this is the year y'all maybe this is the year try to be neat with your glue you don't want to get it all over your paper and get it all yucky although if your ink is really really you know dry you can and you make a mistake and get glue all over your project you can sometimes use an eraser to get rid of your glue mess sometimes sometimes the eraser will pull off the ink and then you're like Toya you said so someone said do you ever let people call you Izzy no no I had someone try and do that once and I was like stop that's not my name. Her nickname is Bella. Yeah. My real my full name is Isabella. My nickname is Bella. It's such a weird name. Like, oh my god. Why? <laughs> it's such a weird name. What should I have named you? I don't know. I don't know how to be named something cool and niche and like indie. Like I wanna be Cordelia. No. No. Anna Green Gables. That's what she wanted to be called. Oh, I know. You didn't even get that reference. Did I you? did. You did not. But like no. <laughs> <laughs> I liked the name Isabella, and so next time, it's name like yourself. Twilight. That's not why. I actually came up with the name in seventh grade because Isabel was my name in Spanish class. Oh. Um, and I thought it was beautiful. Yeah. I named same name as the chick from Twilight and Queen Isabella. I was named after Latoya Jackson. Oh, yeah. Well, so. actually. <laughs> actually, literally. Actually, okay. Queen Isabella sent Christopher Columbus to the Americas. Okay, we don't. So need... I win. <laughs> I win. Okay, you can't beat that. Okay, so we're gonna just uh, yeah. Imagine saying it's YouTube Live with Toya and Cordelia. Ugh. I didn't say I wanted my name to be Cordelia. Oh, like someone said that in the comments. Yeah. Who was that? Who said that? Uh, I Aisha, Aisha. I'm really bad with names. Asian. Henrietta, I would not. See, I, I, I like the name. I like the name like Blue. Not because of Beyonce's kid, but I just like the name. I also like the name River, but I think that's a boy's name. Um, it's a body of water, so I'm guessing it can go to anybody. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Actually, River is a really pretty name. Like I think that is pretty. Honestly, in you, there's this character named Forty, like the number Forty. And it's actually a great name. He is, has substance issues, but he's has a great name. Let's stop quoting you, please. Yeah, we should. All right, so this is the box. It's pretty much done. If you want to close it, you can. Um, I didn't think to make the little tabs that make it easier to close. Probably should have did that. But you can always just look at your cereal box and then cut it accordingly and whatnot. I mean, that's an option. Oh, so, so their full name is Isabella and nicknames are Izzy and Bella. Cool. That's so cool. Yeah, we have the same name. See, Bella people. It's a good name, man. It's beautiful. Literally. Okay, so here is the box that I printed at 80% and here is the box that was printed at 100%. So there's like a huge difference. This is like the one that you get angry with because it's like only halfway filled, you know? And then this is the economy size one. So they sit there in the store next to each other. You can choose to go with the little box or you can go with the big box. The choice is up to you. And it, everything is still legible at 80%. So it works. It works. Just reduce the, just change the print size and then problem solved. Now, 
the large box, I did fill it because, you know, it makes it more fun when you have stuff in it. So I added pom-poms. Looks like meatballs, to tell you the truth. Like gigantic cereal. For but dog poop. <laughs> horse poop. <laughs> yeah. More like. So that's an option. You could fill it with mini pom-poms. Scale is very much off, but it's an easy solution. The other option is pretty much making spitballs, which I've already started. So you're taking cardstock, paper, whatever you want, just get the color you like. I'm going with brown and I'm tearing off teeny tiny pieces. You want them to all be pretty much the same size so that your puffs all come out the same size and you just make them into a ball. Now to, it does help if you use a little bit of water, but you're gonna put a little bit of water on your finger. I was supposed to have put water in the bowl Whoops. All right, we're going to do this off so, camera. So, what city quick. would you move to today? I'd move to somewhere in Italy for sure. I know I've been saying France in the past, and I do, and I'm into the whole, like, the French thing, but since watching Call Me By Your Name. Oh my god! <laughs> you mentioned that movie one more time! <laughs> you did it on purpose. <laughs> <sighs> I have I have a trigger now. It's that yeah. bro, but the house, everything about that movie is gorgeous. Alright, can y'all see this? I'm just trying to set Except this up. Elio's accent. Alright, so back to the craft. If you want to make cereal to go in the cereal box, uh tear a small piece of cardstock and make it into so a This is a hello from France. Bonjour. Actually it's bonsoir. Sorry. Make it into a tiny ball. You can use a little touch of water. I have makeup all over my fingernails. But you can use a little tiny touch of water. The thing about using the water is that it's going to first, like, open up. So you're going to make your ball and then you'll be all proud of it because it's, like, all small and compact. And then you're going to come back or look at it a minute later and the water has relaxed relaxed it and it's opened a little bit. So then you've got to re-roll it. That's double work. It is, but if you use the water, it's more likely to keep its shape very, very well. However, I've also had a lot of success without using water. It just takes a while to sit there and roll the paper. So, and you're gonna sit there and make these teeny, tiny, little cereal Nuggets. puffs. Is this gonna take you a while? Yeah, yeah, it is. Someone said, um, I literally just saw it. Bella, do you enjoy playing video games? If yes, what do you play? The easy answer to that is no, I do not. I like to play Sims once every like six months. Um, I just, it's not because I don't like video games or it's not because like I think video games are bad. It's not that. I have a commitment issue and cannot commit to anything for more than five minutes. So yeah, it's, that's the issue. Yeah. I have an extremely short attention span, but I can draw for six hours straight. So, but halfway through the project or nearing the end, I she doesn't like it and then, then she doesn't it. finish. Yeah. So, so again, commitment issue, something I'm working on. She was supposed to make us a short. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it was supposed it. to take one hour. It was nothing takes one hour. Yes. That's unrealistic. No, you have to oh move quickly I in this game. you make something in one hour. I do. I just made a cereal box. Oh my God. I make things an hour every Friday. Like, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Try to say hello in Polish. Polish. I said Polish. Oh my gosh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, I can't pronounce that, so I'm not going to try. I will destroy it. So yeah. Yeah, I can't even read some of those letters. And I do apologize. I'm really bad with names. I'm really bad at spelling. So, so do you like languages? I do like languages. Again, commitment issues, so I haven't learned any. But I do think they're amazing. Uh, someone says, have you seen the movie? I don't No, I have not seen that movie. I'm not even going to re reply. And Josh <laughs> says to use spit to make the balls. No. I don't mean, you can that. if you want, but then you're thinking about the don't fact tell anybody. that your dolls are actually yeah, eating. Yeah, stop. <laughs> I can't even say it. No, I can't do it. No, no. So how was how was school? School was actually gross in the first hour. Uh, in health, we watched this TV show about drunk driving, and it was disgusting. There was a lot of blood, and it was gross. What is with you? There. Oh yeah, sorry. 
<laughs> but it was just really bad. It was like doing this would ruin your life, and people were getting into car accidents, and it was probably the most disgusting thing ever. And on top of that, it was like this cassette tape from the early 2000s. So it was terrible quality, and the noise, like the, the audio, was like 90210. It was like so bad. Dissing the 90s over No, there? I mean, that makes everything scarier. <laughs> it makes everything scarier. <laughs> oh, goodness. This one person, who, I, I lost the name, but they said the dolls won't know <laughs> if they were made from spitballs. That's true, but you will know. You guys are disgusting. <laughs> but you will know. So I said, have you seen Violet Evergarden? I have seen Violet Evergarden. I don't condone anything that happens in Violet Evergarden. It was weird. It was sus. Okay, can, can we just... Okay, never mind. It was real sus. I can't get Bella to actually have a filter. Like... That is filtering it. That's filtering it. Okay, uh... Like, let me just answer all these questions. What period would you want to go back to? None. Is that right? <laughs> Anytime before now, I get stoned, so... <laughs> no. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, there's it so many... Be good for, it wouldn't be good for me. Moving on. Um... But yes, as the person that I am, I do not oh, wish to go backwards. Oh, person of your past. Your past. No, still. Yeah. No. I Every time before, like, no. No. I'm, I'd go forward. I'd go back in time and tell myself, like, don't hate yourself. Like, you have a nice, you look good, like, stop hating yourself. You should say that now and just move forward. Yeah, I know. But I would and, tell myself yeah. that in the past. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. I don't, I don't. Okay, that's another conversation for another day that's not live on YouTube <laughs> on our Crafting so Doll it, channel. Uh, how many... So it's okay. Polish is tricky. Yeah, it is tricky. It's uh, very tricky. Bro, have you heard Dutch? I... No, um, yes, crazy. actually I have heard Dutch. Yeah. We had a family friend it's like, it's that like, spoke Dutch it's a like, ago. It's like German on steroids. Okay. <laughs> what is... What's wrong with you? No, what's wrong with you? It's nothing. It's a totally accurate statement. Happy birthday, Polly! So, Isabella, how many nicknames do you have? Okay, my aunt... Yes, that sounds like a good my answer My aunt question. calls me... What she call me? I don't know. Bella. No, she calls me something else. She calls me Bell Bell or something. Oh, uh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, and then, like, some people call me Bella Willa, which is not condoned, nor consented to. Just happens to me. So, that. Uh, Bella, some people... You call me Belle sometimes, which is weird. And then I'm not gonna count Izzy because that never. I will never call you Bells again. <laughs> no, Bell. Bells, I don't hate that one. I call you Bells. I never say no, Bell. You, you have. You have. Well, probably because I was just too lazy that A takes so much effort. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> I can call you whatever I want. I named you. That's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't like Bell. I like Bells. That's okay. Um, yeah, because my friends call me Bells too. My friends also call, like, when we're texting with our names, like, we just say B. They like, say B. And then, like, my friend, like, I say, we say B or J or M or A. <laughs> like, we never type each other's names. It's too much work to do the yeah, whole Yeah, it's way too much work. You say what if B. two people have the name that start the same letter? Two people don't, so it's fine. Yes, there are oh, two. Oh, yeah, there are two. Well, the yeah. other one is really never in the group chat, so it's okay. <laughs> we don't include them. That's how we do it. <laughs> like, I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> no. Yeah, they call me B, and they call me B like a, at in person sometimes too. But they call me Bells. Yeah. Oh goodness. Okay, so uh, I'm over here making the cereal, which is taking yeah, forever. Yeah, you, you don't need to talk about it. You can just keep doing it. I'm just saying, like, when do you stop? Because I cannot see me filling the box. I think I only need enough to fill a bowl. Okay, keep going then. Uh, and someone said, uh, <laughs> like, Bella, did your friends watch? My, I told them not to watch. I have one friend that... You are not messing up my views. Well, I say, like, watch, but if you do, like... Or don't watch, but if you do, watch, like, you know, 40 seconds of it at least. Like, you know, give me the view. You know? Anyways. Am I not? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go through the do's and don'ts of what to say yeah. on a YouTube live because Bella needs a refresher. Okay, it is. Uh, yeah, I tell them not to watch. And uh, I have one that definitely watches in spite. They're all subscribed though. They're all subscribed. They all like my Instagram posts. Um, what's up? They all watch my story. So yeah. What's up, the Iris Lollipop? How you doing? 
Okay, it's another birthday coming up. Busy Izzy, early happy birthday. How you doing? So it was a few Bella is aging me. Sorry, the 2000s. 2000s for me was like, you know, I was like a baby, so 2000s is terrifying. <laughs> it says, okay, what food was hard to give up? Bella, do you hate ice cream? I'm talking here. Okay. Do you hate ice cream? Ice cream destroys me, ice so I am me. not a fan. So I hate ice cream because ice, ice cream hated me first. I don't hate anything, it's just ice cream and I are not I friends. I hate it. I have strong hate. I'm okay with allocating <laughs> the energy to hating ice cream. So what food was it hard to give up? So I guess you're referring to when we went like, you know, vegan, right? Um, nothing was hard to give up. Sugar sure withdrawal is something else though. <laughs> Everything yeah. made me sick. Everything was making me sick before I, I made the switch. So altering my diet personally was very, very easy for me because one day I was sick, one day I wasn't. It was like literally two weeks and I was perfectly fine. Felt better than I ever felt in my whole life. So my story is a little different than the average person. But if I could say one thing that I reminisce being able to eat is probably the macarons. Yeah. Macaron. I would say like going out of town and like not being able to eat the food is hard. But uh yes. That's hard. Like not I don't miss it, but it's hard. Like it, you it miss the difficult. You miss convenience for sure. And it's like when you're at like when you're working or you're at a, a event and you're the only person not eating, socially it does yeah, feel weird. Well I first did, but now I'm like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Because there's almost always never anything. Yeah, that I can you don't eat. realize how weird it is to not eat when everyone else is eating until you're doing it and you're like Whoa, this is weird. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's eating, oh, what's wrong? Yeah. Do you want something? I'm like, no, I'm okay, thanks. Yeah. Well, you don't like it? Oh, it's not that. And then they get know. personally offended. And you just, there's, there's just an air of like weirdness. So I usually say, oh, I'm allergic to pretty much everything. So I'm very, you know, yeah. restrictive diet. I have an allergy. <laughs> That's the easy answer. But yeah, my teacher, like, and my health teacher, like, passes out candy when we, like, answer questions or whatever. And one time I answered a question, she, like, tried to give us candy, and I was like, give me candy. And I was like, oh, no, thank you. And she was like, Oh, you don't like candy? And I was like, no. And she was like, everyone looking at me weird. I'm like, are you like candy? You know? Like, I just don't. I just don't. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, goodness. What's up, Llama Cactus? How you doing? What's up, Teresa? How you doing? Love the name, by the way. And I love the way you spell it. Uh, have you seen any new shows or movies? Uh, you season three. The uh, morning show has a new episode today. Not for kids. Yeah. Not, nothing I watch is for kids. Nope, nothing is for. I actually, a lot of stuff that I watch no. is general audience. Uh, is what I'm gonna say. I have been watching. Um, Octopus Game. Three watches. <laughs> what, what? Oh, is that yeah. a derivative yeah. of? The <laughs> Okay. You know, We're know, talking you know. in code talking now. In code. You know you know. Yes. Uh, yeah. I've been watching Sea like, Creature Game. Yeah, Sea Creature Game, <laughs> Oyster Game, Hopscotch Game. Uh, you know, yeah. Yeah. Really, like, really. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Pink soldiers. I haven't finished that yet. Confession. Confession. I watched The Corpse Bride for the first time. Well, I've never yesterday. seen that. I've never seen uh, The Nightmare... Uh, yes, you have. Yes, you have, and you thought it was super scary, and you didn't finish it. Well, maybe I you started it. Yeah. Um. Someone goes, "Have you seen the sea creature game?" Yeah, that's what we're talking about. We're just talking in code. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but I, the Corpse Bride is the first time I ever watched it. Was the other day, and I mean, I think it's pretty. I think artistically, it's cool, but I'm having a hard time sitting through it. I don't. I don't is it too much for you? Or are you just bored? There's just so much singing. Singing. There's, there's so much singing. And Octopus Game? No, The Corpse Bride. Oh, I thought we were talking about something else. <laughs> no, there, there's no singing in that. I was one. singing in that, yeah. And so, I mean, I don't Screaming, know. Screaming, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many hours, minutes does the craft time take? And what's up to Zoe? What's up, Zoe? So it depends on the craft. Uh, this one right behind us, I literally thought I could do it and be done by Wednesday. I started on Monday. I thought I'd be done on Wednesday. I was done yesterday. Actually, this morning, if you want to count photos. So it really just varies in what I'm attempting. A lot of times it's just because 
I'm figuring it out as I go. So I have like a general idea of what I want to do. Sometimes I like sketch it out. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just run and see what happens. This time for this craft that's coming out tomorrow, which is one of the doll apartments that we've kind of like refurbished or redecorated or decorated, remodeled. This looks completely different than the way it looked before. But I thought I didn't need to have a plan going into it. I was like, you know, we're just gonna decorate it and get going, it's gonna be great. And then somewhere along the way, it just became the home remodel nightmare, you know, of my nightmares. Yeah. So like, who's, your who's your favorite in Optimus game? Um, I don't have a favorite. You don't have a favorite? My favorite was, it was Allie. But we know what happened to him. Um, it, at the very, very, very beginning, I really liked Sungwoo or Sungwoo. I don't know anyone's name. The guy that... <sighs> Allie. Who? Who's Allie? Rumble Gang oh. Allie. Oh! Yeah. Like, you're giving it away from me. It's been people. out for so long. I haven't finished. I'm still watching. You've been that part. You've seen that part. Okay, well, let's not talk about that. You're okay. going to ruin... This is the person I who also, ruins TV shows. I, also, I actually love spoilers because I hate the emotional... Uh, torture of shows i spoiled the end of walking dead for myself because i didn't want to have to go through that no i like so, but now i have knowing. no incentive to watch <laughs> so i'm like not watching anymore I have it's this, also really gross i have this uncanny ability to be able to predict everything the end of story but the thing about um octopus game is that it's very she's already told me the end tell you the truth yeah, I have. You did. Because you said you were going to watch it, and then I was like talking about it, and you said you were going to watch it. The thing about it, though, it's really, really, really predictable, but you, because you know what's happening, it makes it sometimes worse. Like, that's why it's so bad. Because I, I, it's predictable. I don't. Just, you don't think just so? stop talking. Oh, about. No, I like the surprise. I like the surprise. Mm, and um, she ruins I like, my Yeah, I guess I don't like surprises, so I like how, like, I don't know. Even though, like, in like, things like Death Note, I loved how I had no idea it was... I didn't know what was going to happen next. So I love that. <laughs> in anime, I like it. I don't like it in like live action shows though. Oh, people are actually saying octopus game now. Okay, made my fear of oh, I'm not saying that disappear. How fear of bodily fluids? Of I'm guessing blood. <laughs> <laughs> of blood. <laughs> Honestly, like I thought it was gone, but then I watched that stuff and like the stuff in like health today, and I was like. I didn't, I, had, I couldn't even look at it, I was going to throw up. You know, I can watch John Wick, so... Yeah, but on uh, movies is different. It's way different when you're watching, like, these Met Hospital videos, like, real stuff happening. I've actually been in surgical rooms. It was veterinarian stuff. I was a vet intern for a while when I thought I wanted to be a veterinarian. And it's not so much seeing it, it's the smells. That's what gets me. The smells, the smells was just too much. And this is why I am not a veterinarian right now. For that reason. <laughs> so I can't watch dubs though. I had to watch the dub. I have to watch dubs because I mean, I draw when I watch TV. So like, I'm not, I can't read and draw. So I have to, I went on and off. I, sometimes I would watch the sub when I wasn't drawing. But when I was drawing, I had to watch the dub. So. I watch dub because I'm too lazy. And it's just, when I have to read the movies, I don't pay attention to all the little things and uh, it messes up my superpower to predict the ending. Yeah. So uh, I have to watch yeah, You've been drawing all these parallels that I was just like, he just died. <laughs> I'm like, did you notice this? Did you notice that? And you're no, like, I did not see you crying. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's been my favorite place I've ever visited? I absolutely love My it. bed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like home. Um, no, I I really liked Colorado, and it's I, not really I visit, love New York. I would move to New York permanently. I'm a good visit New York type of person, but I'm not a live in New York type you know, of person. With all of this global warming and stuff, it's very likely that New York is like going to be underwater soon. So what is wrong with you? What there is a list of things <laughs> under the sea. <laughs> not a thing you must laugh at. We're just laughing at the fact that Bella does not follow any type of rule <laughs> whatsoever. Not climate change, but Bella. Okay. Can you make doll roller skates? Uh, yes. So I believe they do you like Octonauts. I, I watched that a lot. 
we have the toys. Yeah. Yes. Aquanauts are cool. But roller skates, uh, we can attempt that. I've made skateboards, so I'm guessing roller skates would be fairly similar. Susan, would you play octopus game? Of course not. No, no. No, no. No. No, no. 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 Under no circumstances. Under absolutely zero circumstances. No. You wouldn't have even gotten me, bro. Nope. I, I wouldn't, wouldn't have even started playing the cards, bro. Like, no. No. A stranger, a strange man in a suit coming to me in a subway, subway? and slaps uh, me? No. No. <laughs> no. You, you try to talk to me at all? Uh, what? Yeah. No. You are human interactioning me? No thanks. Uh, I don't think so. Did we watch Bridgerton? Yes, we yeah. did. We even did a craft off of yeah, it. I did. Yes, we did. I tend to watch a lot of things from Shonda. Yeah, I always start them. I, I always start them. them, then I fall off after yeah. a few seasons. And then it's like, well... Except for Grey's Anatomy. I stuck with that one. I got real upset when Shepard was gone, though. Like, I was, I Honestly, was done. Honestly, that just left. It's just like... I was done. The fire died, bro. And it just they wasn't had the no same. They had no Christina, no Shepard. Yeah. No like, oh, Burke. Oh. Fire was dead. It was gone. <laughs> <laughs> People are literally quoting you in the comments. Be careful what you say. Um, you would interact with me? Can no you way. make Pirates of the Caribbean stuff? I can try. Um, so, if we were playing Red Light, Red Light at school. Okay, that means you're in elementary school. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> That's not necessarily true. Yeah, no other grade has time for that. Well, if you just have, like, if you just play on your own. You could be in middle play school. That on your own. You could be in middle school. You could be in middle school. You are younger than me. And to be honest, Jim, in high school, the teachers could just be like, hey, let's do something based off of okay, this. Yeah, See, so you don't know. You're making assumptions. I need assumptions, but kids, be careful. Jeez. Octopus game is not for real people. No. <laughs> do not join the octopus game. Stop. <laughs> Manage your finances responsibly. Is that Bowie outside yeah, the door scratching the door? No, just let him stay okay. out there. You sure? Yes. Are you still doing fan mail? Absolutely. I just kind of forgot. Oh, it's been a crazy, crazy week. He's... Uh, if you're going to go get him, go get him. But he's going to mess up all my stuff. Oh, he's fine. Uh, shout out to Asia. What's up? I probably said that wrong. Uh, would you make a Barbie island? What do you mean? Like an island for a Barbie? Or is there like a Barbie island movie Bowie. that I need to pay attention to? Or like an actual island for a doll? Because, yes, we can totally do that. Stay in your spot. So Bowie's like completely mangy right now. He is... He needs he's a gross. shower. He's showering. He needs to be Just come cut. outside so he's all... Hyper. I'm just in no rush to cut his hair because it's starting to get cold in the mornings. So I don't know what he's going to look like soon. He's going to be like a mop. Uh, yeah. Uh, shout out to Rachel. What's up? So, so can you draw someone from MHA? I can. I'm really bad at fan art, but like I can try. I keep telling her that we should do the fan art, but then she brings up the fact that she did a Sailor Moon fan art and that video. Nobody watched it. But, so. you know, so then, yeah, but, you know. <laughs> Shout out to Isabella. Oh, so I said, how can you say no to uh, Gong Yu? Gong Yu, I think is his name. Uh, easily. Very easily. Very easily. <laughs> what is he even doing? He's not Jungkook. Bowie. Like, no. And Jungkook was like, hey, you want to play Oxford's game? I might have to reconsider. But... Uh, no. You have to be uh, a little more... This is not going to work, bro. So, nice. do I do briar horse shows? I don't do briar horse shows. Do I still collect briars? I do, but I've scaled down to collecting for my mini me. So, Real Life Toya has quite a few traditional horses to the point where I don't really have space for them anymore. So, I mainly only collect like the Celebration Horse once a year for Briar Fest. And I might get like onesie twosies of special some things, but I mainly collect the um, mini winnies for mini Toya. She has a nice size collection and they're really small and easier to store. So that's mainly what I collect. And I also do stable mates because those are pretty too. And I like the craft kits because, you know, craft kits. So it's like a Bella Cook. I'm actually a trained chef, 
So negative. Bella cannot cook. I can. She actually. might be able to make waffles with some supervision. I can make oatmeal. Okay. I can make toast. I can make waffles. I can make anything I want to make because I know how to follow a recipe. So all the things you just listed were toast. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's just like honestly, oatmeal. Whatever. I can do whatever <laughs> my mind to. All right. I can be a pastry if I wanted to. We I'm can make vegan. it pastries. Uh, shout out to Mimi. What's up? Someone, is, someone said, is that Tiny Chef in the background? Oh my goodness, it I is. It is. That is Tiny Chef in the background. So that was that's what I bought myself for my birthday um, when I turned 40. I bought Tiny Chef and it just arrived last week. I think it was in last week's YouTube live because my family doesn't ever know what to get me. So I just bought my own birthday presents. So, so are you going to go buy go trick-or-treating? No. No, I don't want like trick-or-treating. But my friends want to just like, do something for Halloween. I don't know what they want to do. So, I want to go to a Halloween party. But actually, after watching the thing in hell, I don't want to be anywhere around the people that party. So never mind. <laughs> never mind. It says, <laughs> Toast is a superior meal. Toya's just ate. Honestly, <laughs> oh my gosh, their name is not Aaron Burr. I see you, Hamilton fan. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, and you're turning 40 this. Congratulations on joining the 40 Club. It's the best club. And then when we're 41, that'll be the best club. So, they can you make a scene of kids in costume trick or treating? I don't have that many. Oh, me? Photos. Oh, it's all about you? Another no. Halloween thing? I already did a Halloween thing. I was gonna do some like shorts where I'm drawing like vampire or like a zombie or those sort of things. Um, I was gonna yeah. do another, like, yeah. Congratulations on turning 20! You got 20 more years and you'll be in the 40 club! So it's like, OMG, glad to be repping the Hamilton fandom. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hamilton. I'm, I'm the only reason why I knew, well, the only reason why I knew because Aaron Berg had a duel with Alexander. Hamilton, and then he, you know, illed him. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Look because at you, Aaron trying Burr to was be all A general push. audience. No, not that. The general audience. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good, good job. Good job. Mula. No, no, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Two steps forward, ten steps back. <laughs> so, is that, do you have a skincare routine? Uh, Baking soda. Actually, yeah. my skin is like trash, but... Baking soda. Um, What's up with the hair? I use the Glossier cleanse, cleanser thing. I use, then I use like body lotion for my face lotion. Do you really? Yeah, I don't even care anymore. I make my own and then like I use the Glossier oil um, stuff. Like the Future Do serum sometimes. I mean like soap, I just use like, we have this soap for like everything. It's like one type of soap and you can use it for everything. And so that's what I use on my face, but I do exfoliate daily with baking soda like i mix it in with my soap and it comes like you know microdermabrasia type stuff and i scrub my face with that and then i spritz with ooh, what's it called rose water and then i make this oil stuff that i put on before i go to bed and that's my uh thing every night yep um what's up sasha how you doing someone said um what i just literally just saw it like what? Oh, so what's that? Uh, other than Hamilton, what type of musicals do you like? I actually never seen Hamilton. I just knew what it was. <laughs> but um, musicals, I usually steer steer clear from musicals. To be honest. Yeah, I just I like High School Musical. Does that count? I mean, I, th I think that's more nostalgia. I don't think I could sit through it for the first yeah, time. Yeah, every because every new Disney Channel thing that comes out, I hate. Okay. But I love the old ones. That's just because I think I loved the old ones. I just I just can't with the music. I can't. I'm sorry. Yeah, like that, there's this like Cinderella thing from like Amazon and it was like, I was like, what is this? So these look more like coffee beans. I just figured out a way to make coffee beans. Yay. They look more like coffee beans and it actually looks like cereal, but in a photo, as long as you don't focus on it, it'll work. I'm all for kind of fudging the look. You know, because you don't really notice it if it's in the background, it'd be kind of blurred anyway, depending on your aperture. So there we go. But if you used water, you need to make sure it dries before putting it into the cereal box because the cereal box is paper and we printed it from our computer and any type of moisture is going to ruin your cereal box. So, so what do you think about the High School Musical reboot? 
I haven't watched it. I personally, this is my personal opinion, I mean no disrespect for anyone who likes these things, but I am like religiously against all reboots. I'm not. Some reboots are of good. Of any caliber. No, some reboots are good. On Disney Channel. On Disney oh. Channel. <laughs> well, you know, Raven's Home wasn't a reboot. It was an extenuation. It was a weird revitalization of something that should have stayed dead. I think I would have enjoyed Raven's Home a lot more Raven. if it was mainly about yeah, Raven. But my thing, but not, I do this with all shows though. You add a kid and I stop watching. I don't <laughs> care about kids. I don't want to see. <laughs> you can't make no, that I statement. Like in a random. Okay, okay, you're she kidding. cares about okay, everyone. Yeah, movie in Pacific Rim. But it doesn't want to see him in the <laughs> first movie. Had like the guy from Star Wars and it was ser no, it didn't. It had the a guy, the other guy, the British guy. Anyways, it was like serious, you know, it was serious and it was like no, not even any romance. Like kind of insinuated, but nothing really. It was like fighting and just like yeah, you know what I mean? Okay. But the second one, they have a kid. Are you kidding me? <laughs> why is this kid here? Okay, so I mean they did that in Jurassic World too. I was like, why is in it Jurassic a kid? World? Yeah. But the first Jurassic Park had the first a kid. Jurassic World did not have a kid. No, but the first Jurassic Park had Jurassic two Park. kids. Talking about Jurassic World, the first Jurassic World was Chris Pratt. It was like other people. It was like Dallas Howard or whatever, and they were like get it up, and they were like doing stuff and fighting and dinosaurs. Yeah, right. Second one, Wait. they add a kid. No, the first the first Jurassic World had kids no. because the oh, kids it had Josh. Don't... It had Josh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and his little no, brother, no, no, and they were in the ball. They didn't have they didn't have that like that kid that was like the key or whatever his stupid trouble. <laughs> like it's so <laughs> annoying. Oh. I don't care about this child here. Like leave. Just and she means this in television. In television, not as I don't in hate the kids. world as a whole. I mean, people annoy me in general, but West Side Story can't okay. do it. It's too much singing. I did watch the old one from way back in the day, but I cannot. So you go to iCarly, like yeah, why? <laughs> I don't think Even I watched though, the first I actually time. think it's supposed to be good. Like I think the way they do the iCarly reboot is like they didn't like. Disney kind of drowns things in okay. PG thirteen <laughs> so. in, in PG ness. You know what I mean? And with like with iCarly reboot, with the iCarly reboot, it's actually like funny because it's like real. -ish. So we are by you know? no means affiliated with Bella and her opinions. And no, yeah. I'm just here. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you guys plans for Christmas? We never really. We're probably not gonna do anything for Christmas. Uh, I mean, I hope. Well, I like to travel during Christmas, but you know, travel is yeah. kind of weird right now. I don't know what's, what all that's about. But um, I don't know. Probably. Really, let's let's do it like real decorating and do the tree and make vegan oil-free, sugar-free cookies. Let's do all that. Let's go full on. So it's an example of a good reboot. You're not listening. Example to of a word good, I'm saying. A good reboot would be like Superman, Henry Cavill casting, not the movie necessarily. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but like casting. Uh. Okay. Henry Cavill is probably the best person that could ever play Superman. Uh, they, re honest. they rebooted Winx Club. Yes, I did yeah, watch did. the first like four episodes and and I just I didn't stop watching it for any reason. See, I just even forgot. the reboot of Gossip Girl was bad. Okay, well let's not mention that one. Let's just keep going. It was like <laughs> it was so annoying. Like I expected so much. I had such high expectations. And they failed <laughs> on um, every account. Can you make Star Trek Captain's Ready Room? Tea. Oh, oh DuckTales and She-Ra. Yes, those are good reboots. The, the She-Ra was fantastic. Yeah, the DuckTales reboot is actually hilarious. I actually absolutely love it. I do actually like that one. I think She-Ra is the and best I personally reboot. think that Teen Titans Go is a good reboot. I do like Teen Titans Go. It's a reboot of what? Teen Titans. Oh. Well, it's not yeah. really a reboot. It's just it is, like a whole different something. Yeah, it's a whole different thing. With the same characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't classify it as a reboot. They plus, they were old. airing at the same time at one point. Were they? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I like Teen Titans Go. It was like a, one of those things where you take a thing that already exists and they kind of turn something else. I like that. You know? And I also like Shira. Shira was good. Shira was the best reboot, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. By far. Okay, I think we're like going up on time. So my cereal is over here drying. I think I might do a short because that's what I've been doing lately is um, we do the craft live with all of you and then I go back and make a short later for those who don't watch the live. I don't know why you wouldn't watch the live, but some people don't. Traitors. <laughs> but I might do a short and we'll go show uh, the cereal possibly in a little bit more detail. 
We only get a minute for short, so we'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, when will we see the Murphy bedroom? Tomorrow. So our video tomorrow, which is Saturday, is a uh, doll apartment fall decor. I didn't really create a ton of new fall decor. I did some things that were new, but we had quite a bit already here. So, oh, you okay? was that your face? Oh you okay, buddy? Um, so we'll, we're gonna just go ahead and decorate the apartment. We're gonna do all of the re interior designing and all that. And that video is like 23 minutes long. I didn't realize it was quite so long, but I told you I've been working on this for like five days. So it's a long video. And that's coming out tomorrow. And it does have the Murphy bed in it. And it still has a balcony. All the rooms open. We have floor extensions, much bigger than our normal doll apartments. So we hope you come back tomorrow, 12 o'clock noon, Eastern Standard Time. Join us for an all new video. No, that's not for you. That's not for you. No, no, personal space, boundaries boundaries no don't lick my hand okay yeah <laughs> i think it's about time so bella do you think you're smart arrogantly yes oh but my gpa i mean backs up that statement but grades are not an accurate like measurement of intelligence i know a lot of people that are good grades and they're not smart okay on so, that note we're gonna start a shout out but i think i'm smart here we yeah. go <laughs> let's start <laughs> shout out Oh, Bella, you're killing me. Bowie, it's not about you, Tell man. Tell Bowie six feet. <laughs> I know. He has no, like, absolutely none. Like, no. He doesn't even care. No personal space. Stop it, you. Get off my table. Shout out to I'm a Dolly Girl. I'm a Dolly Girl. What's up? Shout out to MB Photos 09B. What's up? If you want to say it, you guys sit down, bro. Shout out to Christina. What's up? And I often omit last names just because I know I'm going to destroy them. So if your name is like a first name and a last name, I'm probably only going to say the first name. Chances are. Okay. Shout uh, out. Was a good place. Yeah, I love a good place. Shout out to uh, Kesslyn, Casey Lynn, Casey What's up? Lynn. What's up? Shout uh, out Magic Spyglass, aka Chloe. What's up? Uh, Mira, Mira Chu. What's up? Favorite song right now. My favorite song is "Break This Breaking." No, no. Uh, no. "Break This Breaking Point" by Vertigo Away. Uh, "Break This Breaking Point 2. It's a TikTok song. It's like crazy. It's like drugs for your ears. But I love it. Shout out to um, Swaggy Isa. What's, what's up? up? The Lopinto twins. What's up? Uh, Emmy Lou. What's up? Divine Diva, what's up? Vanessa, what's up? Stop licking me! Tabby Unicorn Fan, <laughs> what's up? Amber, what's up? Doll World, what's up? Uh, Swan Dynasty, what's up? This is a boy with cereal. <laughs> he got me that time. <laughs> I need space. Shout out to D, what's up? Uh, Mirachu. What's up? Uh, favorite spinoff. Favorite spinoff. Favorite spinoff. I don't even know right now. I cannot think of it. I cannot think of favorite spinoffs. Bowie, just stop, man. I don't think I tend to like spinoffs. Shout out to Courtney. What's up? Uh, Isabella. K. Charmaine. What's up? Mona, what's up? I'm sorry, Zoe. Isabella Dare, or Dare. What's up? <laughs> Kobe, what's up? Josh Dominguez, what's up? I think I said that one, though. Uh, Nettery? Nate, Nettery? Nader? Not oh, Aaron Burr, what's up? <laughs> Divine Diva, what's up? Uh, Patricia <laughs> Taylor, what's up? Um, Raphael MS, what's up? I'm being attacked. Uh, uh, two more. Uh, uh, uh Lysel. Gaha. What's up? I said that one. Caitlin Spencer. What's up? Lysel Lord. What's up? Courtney Moore. What's up? Alexa B. What's up? And last one. Last one. Last um, one. Um, this is breath sneaky. Actually, it's not. It's not. He's a decently clean dog. Yeah. Well, I do give him the little toothbrush chew thingies, so I can't, you know, he doesn't smell. But I just don't want to be lit. Stop. Uh, last That's... one is... Uh, Mona. 
Um, I did that one. Oh. Linguistic Frogs. Data Thread Sorceress. What's, What's up? up? Thank you so much for joining us on YouTube Live with Toya, Bella, and Bowie while we made miniature cereal boxes in a variety of sizes. And that hurts. It hurts. That hurts. Bella, get him, what? please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Boy, what are you doing? And cereal to go in it. <laughs> I am scarred for life. <laughs> Relax, please, baby. Uh, what was I? I'm doing the closing. Be sure to join us tomorrow for a new video where we decorate a doll apartment in a long video. It's like 23 minutes at 12 o'clock noon Eastern Standard Time. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. Follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff, The Frog Vlog, Bella of My Froggy Stuff. Check out her latest frog food to see where I got the pictures that are going on many of our printables, and you'll even see it in the video tomorrow. And uh, is that everything? Oh my gosh, look at what he's moving the screen. <laughs> he's gonna delete your account. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, thank you all for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye! Now you have to push the button. Oh yeah. Hit stop streaming. <laughs>